Hey guys, Kevin Martin here for Zoofin.com. Tell you present you with the first episode of The Walking Dead TV. TWDTV.com. Uh, this is a series I've been wanting to do basically since the show premiered, but my schedule just hadn't allowed for it. But starting tonight and every every Sunday after the premiere of the show, um, on the Monday, the, the next day, I'll be having a little ch chat. Tonight it's just me, but I'll be hopefully getting some other people in here just talk about the episode and then eventually spoilers are gonna be pretty heavy but tiny is just a chat about last night's show well of course that's spoil alerts but no this is just spoiling tonight so spoil alert anyway it's all about tonight uh last night's episode it was basically the aftermath of the mid-season finale uh we saw the governor's body and Michonne was at the prison still. Everybody else had scattered. But of course, Michonne, the badass she is, she was there. And sadly, so is Herschel. Who, of course, was killed. And just his head was on the ground. And Michonne had to take care of it. Goodbye, Herschel. We'll miss you. And then, Michonne, she got a couple new buddies. Just like when we saw her first, she got two new friends by chopping off the arms and the lower jaw. So, she had her walking buddies to mask her scent. For a little, we see her walk in a field. And she's sees a zombie that looks like her. She's dreaming a little. She, we, we go into a, you think it might be a flashback. She's, but it turns out to be a dream because her body knife turns into a katana. And she her other two, the initial two zombies, a boyfriend and her brother, I believe. And a little child, and she's all smiley. So who knows how the, if this was like what she was like when she was before the apocalypse? Totally different than now. The hard and badass she is. And then, of course, Carl and Rick are fighting. They've lost the baby, but um, Rick is really messed up. So basically, they find out. They, they hunker down for the night. After fighting between them. Carl really asserting himself as a badass psychopath. They Rick basically passes out. My guess is concussion. And then Rick and then zombies start knocking at the at the door. And then uh, Carl Carl goes around and takes away. But of course falls and gets has to kill three zombies that fall on top of him. And then he finds out when he's exploring for more stuff. Finds pudding, 112 ounce can, looks delicious, but then after that, there's a zombie in the house. So he barely escapes that zombie, and then he goes on the roof, you can see him as a little kid instead of the psychopath, so good little scene. Carl, not as annoying as before. Still not great, but, so the, basically, where we are now is, Michonne is... Killed all the zombies, including her two pets, and then she's tracking Carl and Rick, and then Rick and Carl. Carl is thinks that Rick's dead at one point. He's, he's so out of it, the concussion, groggy. He almost is gonna shoot him, but he just says he can't because he has to shoot his mom. He can tell where he's a little fucked up. So, basically, Carl going out at the house as usual, and then. Michonne tracked him down, and then Carl and Rick seemed at the end to get a little comfort in each other. Great episode, in my opinion. Of course, next next week I was gonna focus on another group. It's gonna be smaller groups for for the first few episodes. But now, most importantly, at the end, Michonne looks in the window all happy, and then someone knocks at the door. Rick looks at the door and says, "Carl, it's for you." Obviously. Probably a little red herring because they never show each other. I'm sure it looked like she had a different house, possibly. So, moral of the story is, stay in the fucking house, Carl. I'll see you next week, talking about the the next episode, and um, it's called Inmates, and you can go find the trailer, of course. I don't like to spoil it too much, but who will because of the show. But. Next week, it'll be much more fluid. The first take of this got eaten by YouTube, but thanks for following. 
Go on and like, subscribe, tell me what you want. If you want to be on the show, contact me. And, well, survive the apocalypse.